I don't know if we've made our situation better or worse, but we've had a lot of changes. No games today because we've got lots of transfer stuff to talk through. Let's roll the intro. All right, my friends, welcome in. First things first, transfer window. Can we get to 100 likes? Challenge you there. You can wait till the end, but you know, that like button over there. Make sure you hit that. Um, all right, last season, Lunetta's seven assists was a team record, which seems like a low record. Uh, Stefano's nine player of the match awards is a team record, and Volo Voltolini's nine clean sheets is a team record. Um, Nico Kiron got to go to the Olympics with New Zealand and scored his first goal in New Zealand. They got wrecked at the group stage. Um, his goal was in a friendly against like Guam. They won seven nil. So it's kind of, you know, but he got a goal. Um, we start the season 57 K, um, 57,000 euros in the bank. That's after my friends, 850,000 in TV revenues, plus our sponsorship and commercial revenue, which I will show you here in just a minute. The good news is we have promoted Corrado um, to our head physio from uh, from the under 18s, under 18s team, um, which is something we thought about doing. He's still kicking around. We've had a bunch of people retire, um, and then we've promoted. Yes, we have Eduardo Valente to be our chief data analyst. So those are the the good things. There's been lots of changes. Let me show you the commercial revenue. Let's do that. All right, here's the commercial summary, my friends. Oh. Sponsorship dollars, 2.09 million. Corporate hospitality, 109 grand. Obviously, these are all up because we didn't have a number before. Um, Rossi, Brodich, Scapini, Icardi, and Albizua are our top selling kits, which is surprising to me. But, um, you know, that, again, that bumped our stuff up and we're, we're just at break even. <laughs> So as you can see right now, we've got 102 grand in the bank. We started last season, remind, remember, at like almost, what was it, 1.2 million? Um, yeah. So here was my thinking as we came into this transfer window is the club vision coming back here. Now, they've not extended my contract. So let's see how that goes. Uh, but the club vision is to continue working for another four seasons. 20, 21, 22. Four. Yeah, four seasons before winning promotion. Our problem last season, our center backs are all terrible and they're all older. So they're not going to get any better, right? It's it's not that they're, it's not like they were all one stars, but like they were just going to continue to get older and continue to not perform and not enhance their abilities. So I look at this, assuming that they want to keep me as an opportunity to go younger they don't want us to sign players over age 30 anyway but like can we bring in some players i also like that this is favored this isn't even this is favored it's not even required but we got all this time to bring in some younger center backs younger players in general but primarily center backs and see if we can develop them a little bit just through playing time right it's not necessarily because we've got amazing facilities or anything like that as a reminder we've got average training facilities and below average youth facilities. So it's going to be through playing time is how we're going to be improving these players. But we've got some time to do that is my thinking. So with that being said, um, we've gotten rid of, we, we've got some of our old center backs still on uh, month to month contracts because we're, we got some trial lists that I'm waiting to see if they'll sign contracts and all that kind of stuff. But we have gotten rid of Costa because of that, red card elbow and he's really expensive and not going to get any better it's costing us but i think it's a it's a good decision and we did get rid of mateo uh marchi the the striker so let me show you show you that um we sold mateo marchi to Foggia for 120 grand which i think is a phenomenal deal for us it's not that he's a bad player he would have been a fine fourth striker but he didn't want to he didn't want fourth striker um minutes and he also wasn't on fourth striker wages. And he only had one goal last season. Again, I was quite happy he got it at the end of the season, right? We saw that. That was great. But he's 31. I just, he's not going to get any better. And so it's like, mm, see ya. Um, we sold Costa to the same team for 18 grand. However, he was on, 
something ridiculous. It was like 2.6 or 7K a week. And we've sold him for 18 grand, but we're paying 1.5K a week, which is still a lot to us to be paying. But it still effectively reduces our wage budget by 1.4 grand. So it's like we got rid of one of the other center backs. And again, he's just not going to get any better. He's at 41 on his, on the scouting, a 6, 7, 1, and 25 total appearances. Again, not terrible. Just, I mean, he's 34. The, the, these arrows were going down. So there's no need, I don't think, to keep him. Um, we've also loaned out, like I said, Durante to Mestra. They're paying 350 of the 375. We might have might bring him back in the January window. We'll see how the season goes. And then Dennis Joseph, who was a left right back, he's all right. They're paying 350. We're just gonna see if getting him consistent playing time is gonna is gonna help him develop and, and make him worthwhile of an extension. So, my friends, we've gone first. We brought in two loanees, um, the, and this is where giving yourself an opportunity to see what's out there in the market once the season wraps up is important. It is kind of interesting, though, because you hit like the end of June and players haven't been released yet, but you have to make decisions on your players. And so I just kind of said, let's roll the dice. And if our guys, our center backs go, then they go. And we'll have to figure that out real quick. Um, but I put in an offer on a player. Let me see if I can actually find that player real quick. Um, it's a center back. I've been looking for strikers, as you can tell. Maxime Walkers. Walkers. Wackers? I don't know. It's French. I, too many translations in my head. Looks a decent prospect. 22, so has an opportunity to improve. Um, already a 14, 14, and 12 on the heading, marking, and tackling. I thought, you know, pretty decent option. The determination is an issue, not as pacey and acceleration, but again, 22 is thinking, okay, if we had some game time, maybe we could do something there. Um, and I offered, because we were getting desperate, like we couldn't find anybody, offered 100 grand. Now, you can see they've got it listed for 70 grand. We came to terms, it was all right, it was going to be like 900 a week or something like that. And then I delayed it for like two or three weeks. They let me delay it. And in that time, it was I thought it was a gamble. Um, we still may go back in and pick him up. I'm not sure for, for 70 grand instead of 100. Um, but in that time, we were able to come in here and bring in Alessandro Vogliaco, Vogliaccio, Vo Alessandro, um, who's two and a half star, but he has four or five star potential. We're going to try and steal him from uh, Pordenone. Uh, his contract's up. Oh, it's not up for. I thought it was next season. We're gonna we're gonna test the waters. We're gonna see if he like falls in love with us. Um, not doesn't have the stamina and the strength. Concern doesn't have the work rate. Concern, but he's six foot one. Decent option. Three fifty a week. Also really tasty on the wage budget. We we're very concerned financially. So I was trying to make d good decisions. There. I was very concerned financially. We offered hundred k on a player, but like we still have the transfer budget. That we got a, a, a huge transfer budget. So I was like, okay. Then we brought in Mario De Marino from Ven Ven Venezia. Ooh, the comments. Um, who looks also quite good. He is one that's also here until um, 2022. On we, we've loaned him for that. We, like we said, hey, we'll take him for two seasons. So we kind of locked in that position. He's going to get a lot of playing time. He's got 17 aggression, good defend, uh, central defender on defend. 13, 14, 13, six foot two. I think again they may end up keeping him, but it, it's it's plug the hole. For a couple of seasons until we could figure out the next steps. Um, in addition to that, we've signed Lillian Perrier, who is up and down the spine, could cover right back in a quite the bind. Determination not great, but again, I think for a 20 year old, if we can get that determination up a little bit, we're going to try and train him on a central defender. He's only 5'11. This may be a mistake, um, but I thought, man, if we could play him as a ball playing defender, you know, or maybe do like on a cover role. You know, where he doesn't necessarily, he's he's cleaning up those through balls and stuff like that rather than, uh, you know, jumping up. Something like that. That's how it works in my head, at least. And then he's got the ball playing capabilities. Maybe an option. But again, we got him on, yes, a free. So I thought, you know, maybe, maybe worth it. Um, this is also when we were like, we have nobody. And again, I was, I was looking to go younger. We signed Malik Lame. Senegalese, 
um, apparently was already in Italy. So this goes back to the whole, you can't sign non-EU players from outside of the continent. Apparently he was already in the continent. I mean, obviously he's playing in Italy, but what's also interesting about this, is this the guy? He's only completed 109 days. How is that possible? How is that possible when he's played, I'm just saying, nobody knows. Nobody knows. But again, only three and a half star potential, but he's 22, he's 400 a week. He, I think he's a value buy. He's only five foot 11. So again, we get some short defenders, which makes you makes you a tad nervous. But I think giving them playing time and option, Francesco Massa has been signed by our, I, I once, once we kind of got to this stage, I was like, okay, I'm going to take over finalizing the contracts that our youth setup starts buying and with all of our staff because they 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 tried to extend some staff members so i was like no 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 no, no. Let's, let's get rid of that and they've also signed mattia palandini who looks like a decent striker option may get some game time this this year and giuseppe frucci again another one for for the youth setup so those are the ends thus far my friends um we uh, retired Lorenzo Stetti, uh, Lorenzo retired. Um, we re released uh, Igor here. Just wasn't quite good enough and didn't want to risk buying him and not playing him and then just eating the, the cash there. Um, our backup emergency keeper has gone. Um, Espeche has gone. He's been signed by Ravenia also in our group. Interesting. So we'll see him again on 625 a week. That's quite the discount compared to what we were paying him. Thank you very much. Um, Marfa Marfella, who are, was brought into our youth setup and just didn't make it, didn't make the grade. Spano, um, who I thought about keeping, um, but his weight, I mean, look at the weight. We were getting done in by the wages. He He's down to 550 a week as a French player. If his determination was higher, we would have kept him. Um, cause he's got a lot of good other attributes, but I didn't think he was really going to prove that much. And he was super expensive. And then this one I was on the fence about because he's, he, he, he would be like a good, uh, mentor, um, 16 determination, but his pace and acceleration just wasn't good enough. So we just released Paolo there. Uh, that's kind of what's going on with the players. We've continued to trial everybody that we can. All right. From a staff standpoint. Whew, all right. Lots of these folks were either going to leave of their own accord or just weren't good enough. I'm not going to show you all of them, but you can tell like under 20s assistant and physio and goalkeeping coach. Um, our one of our, one of our physios, we had too many physios. Our fitness coach is gone. Our head of youth development because he wasn't very good. Um, he's also he's also you can't even see him. He's he's retired. Um, one of our scouts because we're overloaded overloaded on scouts. Our, one of our goalkeeping coaches because I found a better one. And an under-18s coach because he just wasn't very good. Um, and instead, my friends, we signed Giovanni Calcagno, 13 physiotherapy. We've signed Claudio Cantavanera. I actually meant to sign these opposites as because his his is a little bit lower to put him on the under-18s. But under-18s, we're really developing players. So we want, obviously, higher physio there. We, Roberto Butto. 18 working with youngsters and 11 and 17 much better with a professional personality is a dream pickup. I think we had to pay ACR Messina like six grand to, to sign him absolutely all day long, twice on Tuesday. I would hundred percent do that again. Um, I think he's a fantastic pickup. So even if their ability isn't as good as we thought it was, if the potential like he, this, this to me says, okay, we may get players that are a little more professional and then have high potential. Like, he, he could pick out the Wonder Kids. They may not be very good right now, but he could pick out the Wonder Kids. Um, Marco Petrucci. Pet Petrucci. Marco. Much better. 12, 13, 17, 13. Fairly professional. We've upgraded our staff, especially from a mentality standpoint. Um, Fabrizio Malara. First coaching gig. Has no experience with the club, but has played, obviously, all over the place and was a slight upgrade and he's resolute. So a 12 with working youngsters, eight, nine and eight. Decent, decent. I like that. He's resolute. Um, so I think he's a good pickup there. Luca Mondini is our under 20 goalkeeping coach. 12, 12, 12, nine, nine, not very motivating. That's the only concern there. Garage door during the transfer window. There you go. Um, also a 17 working with youngsters, fairly professional. 
I think he's a good find. Um, Stefano Greco, 19 working with the youngsters. Aside from that, was a slight upgrade. Like the previous coach had sevens and sixes. He's got eights and a six, but he's also got the 19 working with youngsters. I'm pretty happy with that. Warren Point from Northern Ireland, but he's Italian. Interesting. How do you... Okay. Not going to ask questions. Um, Angelo Pagotti is our new goalkeeping coach. Again, the previous coach had 11s, I think. We've still got one on staff that's all 9s. Um, but I think there was a reason I kept him. I think there was. But I think he's an upgrade. He's an upgrade. Fabrizio Fusco is our new data analyst since we promoted Eduardo to chief data analyst. And he's pretty good, too. Um, don't worry, Eduardo. We're going to keep you around, man. And then our under-18s fitness coach, 475 a week, pretty good value. 13 fitness, not bad. That's kind of where we're at. We let some youth prospects go. Um, we don't have any other future transfers. So here's where I'm nervous. So I've got both of our goalkeepers we used last year on month-to-month -month contracts. One of them's got some interest elsewhere because I brought in Matteo Pisseri in the, the summer window on like a long trial and he looks pretty good. Like he's an improvement over both of them. And I was like, mate, let's offer you a contract. Yeah. Hasn't immediately signed. And, and like, but it was like, he liked our, it was like the agent was like, yeah, make me an offer. And so we made an offer and now, and now Triestina who got promoted. So in the division above us have come in after him five days later. So I'm imagining we're going to hear here in just a minute that he's not going to be interested in playing for us and then we'll have to go back to our other goalkeepers and be like hey i was just kidding about that guys um we also have an offer out to on 900 a week again fixing the wage budget ricardo brosco he's a little older he's not going to improve but i think again with the with the current ability he's kind of like that veteran you know uh, he's played in the higher divisions his entire career so he's taking a little bit of a step back but it, he's that veteran presence Right-footed only, but he's got 15 on heading 13, 14. He's six foot three. I think he's a good buy if he'll if he'll come in for us. And then some some younger ones, Giorgio Altair, 21 year old. Again, I'm not saying he's outstanding, right? If you look at the report, he's like seventh on the list, but he does have some potential. He's more of a he's more of a gamble, but he's six foot two. Good natural fitness can run all day long. We need to work on the acceleration to go with that running. Um, but again, 400 a week, I thought he was good value. And then in our youth setup, we've gone after a guy who's kind of versatile. So our squad, my friends, looks like this. And oh, by the way, because you can see it at the top, we drew Modena, 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 um, in a two team group again. So at least we might get some, some, some people showing up. Um, we played Inter and Sassuolo. I've also, I do have a beef with with Football Manager. I have tried to set up, is it gone now? I thought I just set this up. Hold on. I have tried to set up the Money League during that week four times now. Four times now. It says it was accepted. Why isn't, why is it, why is it not, why is it not showing up? Um, hello? Hello? It doesn't say it's canceled. I'm just looking. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's supposed... And it's called fourth try. Because the, 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 the weird thing... Oh, it's right there. It's after the cup. That's... I had to set it up four times is, is the problem. Because one team... If one team has a clash, it cancels the whole thing. Like, you can't go back in and be like, Hey, you want to invite somebody else? And if you go back in to reset it, you can't name it the same thing. It's like, no, you, you have you have to wait until next year to be able to, to, to play that league. We haven't played it. Come on. So the fourth try league. Yeah. Yeah. Bringing in some clubs, right? From the Czech Republic, Serbia, and the Czech Republic. I, I was fairly certain on those. But um, should net us like 60 or 70 grand in gate? you know, in comparison to what we have paid, um, which would be nice and hopefully get some TV revenue. I try and invite the, the biggest teams I can. So we got the TV option here. That's oh six point four four. Oh, look at that. We're rich. I mean, 18 grand when you got 102. In the, in, oh, the per, 
garage door again projection is 1.33 in the hole he's good i think i think um right so here's how the squad shapes up we have venturi back in goal yep um all lonies in the defense except for lorenzo Lebuti. um He's got, he's coming off of uh, food poisoning and can only go 45 minutes, which is good. What we're trying to, again, the, the club don't really care about this uh, competition. I'm just trying to get him at sharp for the actual season. Um, Accardi and Verone, and then Rossi in the attacking midfield, Brodic and Scapini up top. I got Martinelli. We may keep Martinelli because he's left footed. We don't have a left footed center back and we're playing a back three. I'd like to have one. Um, but he's 1.8k a week. We'll see how that ends up. Unai, I was so hopeful. He came back from the summer break with with arrows going in the correct direction. Now the arrows are going in the wrong direction. And I, I figured if we could sell him for 300 grand, that'd be a huge swing for us. Um, it just hasn't come off. Uh, Favelli, Flacovio, Zanini is also on. Not sure what we're going to do with him because we may confirm. He's five foot ten. Probably a bad idea to make him a center back. But if we hit ball playing defender, I'm just saying... Um, he's our third string on the, on the wingback role, right? So trying to figure out what we're doing with him. Leonardi is, is, is up here. Barba is up here. Romano coming off that horrific injury. Uh, Z uh Zimbardi, who we had, who's again, youth prospect. And I just needed a fourth striker. Um, Dennis van Varenberg is working on a complete forward. And then we have some other folks, Brosco again, that we've got the, I, I was hoping he would have accepted by now so that we could you know, get him in the mix. Um, Nico Kerwan has just come back for the Olympics, so we're arresting him for just a little bit. And then we got some other, you know, not sure about these guys. If he's a four-star with two-star ability, I'll probably bite. Um, if he's not, probably not. We'll have to see how that goes. Gabriele, probably not. You know, I thought it was worth a try, but that, that, that's how we line up, my friends. We can always drop back to this, right? And we can also, also if we do that, we can put, ooh, no, no, no. Um, we can put, you know, the advanced playmaker here to take care of that space or something like that. But I thought we're at home. Let's play positive. Let's see if we can get something going. I do think that we've improved, even though the star ratings may not indicate it. I think we've improved our back line. And especially for the future. Again, all three of these guys on loan, we're trying to hope, we're trying to like live. It's beautiful here. Live in Italy. You know, don't go back to your clubs and, okay, some of you are from Italy, but okay, you're Latvian, but from Sampdoria. Okay, they're all from, anyway, our area of Italy is it. Okay, anyway, that's how, that's how it is. That's how it, that's how it is, my friends. We may end up with uh, one of these guys in goal and then Santa Polo as a backup. I'm not sure. I'm really hoping the other guy signs, but that's that's where we're at, my friends. Um, we're still trying to flesh out some of our coaching stuff. Let me know what you think about that, my friends. D do you like any of the transfers? Do you like the decisions to get rid of the people we got rid of? Let me know in the comments. Again, if we can get to 100 likes on this, it'd be amazing. Hit that like button. If you're new around here for some reason, subscribe. It's it's somewhere over there. Um, and when we come back next time, my friends, we are going to show both games in the Serie Chi Cup that we don't really care about from a board standpoint, but we do care about from a passionate fan standpoint. Come on, lads. I'm not, I'm not confident because we've not played our goalkeepers. We played the other guy. Now he hasn't signed. <laughs> Thank you.